Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening at whatever time you are listening. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate uh, the usage of Telewater. Telewater is a fantastic telegram watermarking bot. This bot can help you watermark your images, your GIFs or your videos on the go and very fast. So this is actually optimized to be fast. So the usage of the bot is very simple. So you just uh, click start to start conversation with the bot and you can just directly send any uh, image or any GIF. For example, uh, let me give it a picture. So if I give it a picture, this will immediately watermark the picture and send me the link, uh, send me the new image. So, so the image was sent and instantaneously the bot watermarks it. So by default you will get a telegram logo in the watermark but yes you have different commands to set the different configuration variables and to get the value of different configuration variables so let me show you the demonstration so this was an image so i can also do a gif so if i send a gif um, for example let me send this gif and the bot will watermark the gif and send you back so you see it's actually very really fast uh, and it depends on the server that you are deploying. Currently, I am running it on my own computer uh, in which I am recording this video. But yes, you can deploy it to a cloud server. In this video, I will show you a complete tutorial of how to deploy your own bot. So now let me show you the last example with a video. So for example, let me have a, a MP4 video. I have MP4 file. Let me send the MP4 file. So this supports all kinds of images, all kinds of GIFs and all kinds of video files. So uh, this video is being uploaded. It has been uploaded and now let's wait for a few seconds. So you can see the usage of the bot is very simple. You just send the media, the bot will watermark it and send it back to you. So this has been watermarked. Now you uh, are probably thinking how you can change the image, how you can change the position. So just uh, let us give the get command. If you just run get you will see all the uh, configuration so the watermark is set to this image so the this is the url of the image and the frame rate of the videos is set to 15 the preset is ultra fast and the position is center so you can change the position for example i want to change the position so i can i will do set position colon and space and then i can change the position to for example top right so that's it so the value of position was set to top right now let me check it let me give it a picture so let me give it a uh, for example a screenshot and let me check whether it does it right or not so as you can see this has now watermarked it top right so this is perfectly working so in the previous case initial case we had the watermark in center but now it has watermarked in the top right now how will you know what are the correct values for position so just let me send uh, set position and let me give a gibberish value for example let me give a gibberish value so oh sorry i just made a spelling mistake uh, the position mist, uh, is a spelling mistake so if you just make a spelling mistake in the key this will say you that the key position is not a valid key in the configuration so what are the valid keys in the configuration just run the get command just run the get command and here you get all the valid keys in the configuration so these are the keys and these are the values so this is the key value pairs so the watermark is the url the frame rate is integer the preset is the some valid presets are there and position so let me copy this position and let me run set position colon and let me give a gibberish value so this will give you a proper error so what are the permitted values this gives you what the permitted values so what are the permitted values top left top right center bottom left bottom right so you can see if you make an error the bot will produce a proper error message so that you can understand what's going on so now the most common thing that everybody would like to change is watermark so if you want to change the watermark how will you do it so you need to use any image editor uh, to make the watermark so just use any online image editor to uh, build your image so whatever uh, image or text whatever you want to watermark it just build it using some online uh, uh, editor and then upload the picture to any online site to any image host so i personally use github so let me show you how so this is uh, the Telewater's GitHub repository. Telewater is completely free and open source. And one good thing in GitHub is that you can just go to issues uh, of any GitHub issues of any repository. If you have a GitHub, if you do not have a GitHub account, you should definitely create a GitHub account. Creating a GitHub account is very simple. Uh, let me show you. So you just go to GitHub.com. Uh, if you just go to GitHub.com, 
here you can just uh, sign up when you click on sign up you can create a github account so you can set your username you need to give email address and you need to set a password you need to set a fresh strong password that's it and you can just create your account it's very simple it's just username email password that's it you can create a github account and once you have a github account make sure that you start this repository so this bot that you are running over here that you are seeing over here is basically this is the source code this is the program of the bot so now what are the features of tell the first feature is it's very fast because it's built using async libraries and speed is of the main concern now there are some proprietary watermarking bots in the market but this tell is completely free and open source so this is the best alternative the best open source alternative to any proprietary bot and this is very simple to use you just send the photo or the media it will watermark and send it back to you that's it and it has uh, uh, the this bot is meant to be self-hosted so i don't have a bot that i can offer you for a uh, demo you have to deploy your bot and deployment is very simple very simple you need to deploy your own bot and use your own bot so this is one person use bot or one organization use bot so whatever settings you will do so whatever values you will set over here these settings will apply to the bot to the bot as a whole not to par user so if multiple people are using the same bot everybody will get the same configuration so this bot is meant for a single person or a single uh, organization so another important thing is that no database connection is required so some of the bots uh, have certain mechanisms that they require a database connection but this does not require and this bot does not store any video on the server so when you send a photo or video so this bot is completely safe to use and this is open source you can check the source code no media will be saved on the server so you don't have to worry so the bot will uh, take your image watermark it send it back that's it and delete delete the media from the server so the server on which you're hosting the bot will not have any media left so this is very simple and now you can deploy this to heroku using just one click that's it one click if you don't have a heroku account just go to heroku.com and open um, create a heroku account and deploying to heroku is very simple just one click deployment and when you click on this button you will get a form where you need to fill your api id api hash and all the stuff now how to get your api id and api hash you can just simply go to my.telegram.org to get your api id and api hash now how to install this bot or run on your own virtual private server or on your Linux machine or on your Windows, how to run it? So you have some requirements. You need to have Python 3.9 plus and pip to be installed and also ffmpeg to be installed. And that's it, very simple. So I will now show how to run this bot on my own terminal. So this bot was running and this is the logs of the bot. Let me uh, shut down the bot by pressing control C and let me show you the demonstration. So let me go back and let me clear this folder app. Okay. Now, how will I deploy this bot on my own Linux server or on your own computer? If you are on Windows, the process will be nearly same. You need to open your terminal, Windows terminal, uh, and uh, you have to basically make sure the commands are Windows compatible. The certain commands are a little different, but more or less same. So over here, I will first of all create a fresh directory to store my bot's configuration and other stuff. So I will create a new uh, directory. Let me name it app. And here in this directory, okay, let me, I actually have a virtual environment activated. So let me deactivate it. Okay, now first of all, I will uh, create a new virtual environment. So the first step that you need to do is that create a new virtual environment, and that's very simple. Using Python's venv module, you can create a new virtual environment, and I will name the virtual environment dot vnv. So you can name it whatever you want. So this is a command to create a new virtual environment. So if you are not a programmer, then you don't should not go through this hassle. You should definitely uh, deploy it to Heroku. That's it. Just one click deploy to Heroku. And deploying to DigitalOcean is also quite simple. You can see the wiki. Here in the wiki, you have the deploy to DigitalOcean section. You just can create a, a new app and choose Docker Hub over here. You just choose Docker Hub and then you give the repository unmix slash telewater, the spelling exactly. And then you just click next. And then you set the environment variables, API, ID, API, hash, bot, token, bot, username, all these environment variables. And then you just simply name your worker and that's it. You click and the bot will be deployed, perfectly fine. So these are methods for non-programmers. If you are not a programmer, then definitely uh, see this guide for deploying to DigitalOcean. And obviously for Heroku, it's very simple. You click on this button, a form will appear and that's it, you will get it. And for deploying on your own machine, you need to run this. Uh, first of all, create a virtual environment because this will isolate the packages and then you activate the virtual environment. The process for activating virtual environment is a little bit different for Windows, so just Google it. So once you've activated it, now it's very simple. Uh, so let me go to my uh, app directory. Okay, oh sorry, I created a virtual environment in my home directory. Sorry, let me just go back and just clear the mess. Uh, so let me actually delete this .vnv from here and 
let me deactivate it now let me go to my app directory now let me create a virtual environment and yep let's source it let's activate it that's it now you need to just do pip install upgrade tell you what but before you do that make sure that your pip and python's versions are correct so python version should be above 3.8 and pip version should be also the latest version so as high as possible uh, so it should be probably un above 20. so make sure in some systems you have to refer python by python 3. in my uh, system python is linked seem linked to python 3 so i ju can just directly use the python command but in many systems uh, python refers to python 2 like in some old uh, like most probably in ubuntu uh, 18 or in ubuntu 20 old versions uh, basically python refers to nothing right so they have python 2 and python 3 the two different commands uh, so in my system i have sim linked python with python 3 so if you the the word python if the command python is not giving you the proper version then you should definitely use python 3 or just make a proper installation of python in your system before you do all this so make sure that your python version and pip version these two commands uh, render the proper results and then you can just simply do pip install upgrade tell you that's it one simple command and that's it the tell will be installed so as i have installed telewater earlier so most of the uh, dependency packages are cached so you see it's very fast but in your system it will take some more time because you have to install it for the first time and that's it it's installed and you have to install ffmpeg ffmpeg is another dependency that, uh, if you are running on your own computer so installation of ffmpeg is quite sim simple just go to ffmpeg.org that's it and here you can click download and the process of downloading ffmpeg is a little different for windows mac and uh, linux there are different ways to download ffmpeg uh, so you can see the guide over here they have a complete guide over here for linux windows mac so you can just check the guide and that's it but if you're on linux or uh, basically ubuntu or debian based systems then you can just do sudo apt install ffmpeg that's it this command will go and then just give you a sudo password ffmpeg I already have it installed so nothing more to do if you are on mac then i think you can use brew install ffmpeg if you're on windows probably winget that is newly released i think winget will support ffmpeg like i believe winget install ffmpeg will uh, give you it i'm not sure but you have to check it out so that's it now just run ffmpeg uh, minus h so this will show you the help of ffmpeg so if ffmpeg has been correctly installed and is on path then this proper help uh, will be shown that's it and you can just run tell you what our, uh, version this will show you uh, Telewater's version. You can run Telewater help to see the command and interface of Telewater. And what you can do is that to configure Telewater on your own server, on your VPS, on your Linux machine, you can just create a .env file. So I will create a .env file like this. And here I will write my API ID, API hash, bot token. That's it. All these values you have to write. So now how to create a bot creating a bot is quite simple just go to bot father and just give the command new bot i give the name of the bot and then you have the bot so that's it and you can uh, copy this uh, api token don't worry i will revoke this token you will not be able to access my bot with this uh, so you give the bot token and how to get the api id and api hash is very simple you just go to this site called my.telegram.org that's it so you just go to my.telegram.org so here you can just uh, go to api development tools i will not click because i don't have time to blur it so basically so from api development tools you can get your uh, first time when you go to this site first time you have to log in with your phone number and after that you can click on api development tools you will get your api id and api hash and just simply uh, paste them over here right so that's quite simple so now let me show you the last thing that i'll show you that deployment to heroku so when you click on deploy to heroku So if you don't have a Heroku account, you have to create a Heroku account. I already have a Heroku account, so I will just directly log in. So, so I will log into my Heroku account. If you don't have, it will prompt you to create a Heroku account. So I already have it, so I logged in. So deployment to Heroku is very simple. Just wait for some time, Heroku will fetch the code. And here you can give your app name. So whatever app name you want to give, uh, so you can give it my uh, telewater app whatever name and here you can give you api id api hash bot token bot username all this and just click deploy app after you have clicked deploy app you have to uh, turn on the okay let me give uh, all some pseudo values over here you have to give the actual values 
from my.telegram.org okay i'm just giving some pseudo values you click deploy app and this will create the app actually uh, this will fetch it from the github so you can just go to this url github.com slash arnik slash telewater this will fetch it from the docker file so basically the docker file defines everything and heroku will build it from the docker file so oh by the way there is a fantastic extension to read code in a fantastic way in github so this extension called better github allows you to read code in a, your own font and own font size so let me set this and you see you can read code in a much better way i love this extension and definitely don't forget to start this repo and just click watch custom and watch for releases and discussions okay so whenever i will publish a new version new release you will get it so the latest release is 0.1.5 that's the latest release as when i'm making this video but in future you will get updates maybe small improvements but most of the main features of the bot are already implemented in future i may give small updates so make sure make sure that you start this repository and you see in heroku it's doing it's building the docker uh, image and then that will actually uh, so it will take some time for the first time and you can see telewater has a fantastic wiki now in the wiki you have this environment variables section where you know all the environment variables that you need to um, write api dp hash and how can you get them and all these environment variables have, have a corresponding cli option so you, if you need to pass this from the cli if you are comfortable with command line you can do that like pass it from the cli and how to set environment variables one way is that in linux you can do the export command or you can just write it in a env file in your present directory that's it and and here you have another page delivered cli usage so these are the cli help and you can install this using docker if you are familiar with docker so you can just do docker pull and then docker run that's it so this is quite simple i hope and the last page that we have is run multiple instances so if you want to have multiple bots so if you want to run multiple telewater bots the simplest way is to deploy several heroku apps or several digitalocean apps that's it so deploy one heroku app another heroku app another heroku app. that's it but if you want to run a huge number of um, uh, telewater like 15 16 20 like that so you can use a terminal multiplexer like gnu screen and this supports something called bots.yaml so you you can just clone this repository and in the present directory in the project directory create a bots.yaml file give the username colon token username to colon next token so like this in the yaml file just put the username and token and then you just do uh, docker run like this and you uh, you mount this file you mount this bots.yaml into the docker container or if you are running using um, uh, pip or just python then you can just do run this entry point.py file so this is special this is not for normal people this is special i hope this uh, this uh, instruction is for people who are familiar with this terminal and all this stuff uh, this is for people who want to run huge number of instances of telewater in the same server but for most people one or two instances are fine one or two bots of telewater are fine so for most people the normal way is just deploy to heroku if you want to have another app then just deploy another app to heroku click on the click on the deploy button another time so if you want multiple instances just follow deploy to heroku two or three times like if you want it but if you want like hundreds of telewater in that case using a terminal multiplexer and the same server can be helpful so it all depends now see after this has been deployed here you will see a green tick and you can click on manage app now once you have clicked on manage app here you can see settings don't click on open app because this is not a web app so you will not get anything over there so here you can click on reveal config verse and here you have the configuration variables you can click on the pencil button to edit the values of api id api hash whatever values you want to edit whatever things you want to change you can change using this pencil and click on resources tab in the resources tab you can click on this pencil and turn on the bot by this uh, worker turn on and click confirm that's it this is how you can turn on if you want to turn it off then just turn off and confirm that's it so this is very easy to deploy to heroku without any code without any terminal you can deploy it to heroku if you are interested in running on your own computer then yes you have the pip installation method or the docker method whatever it is so and that's it i hope this video was a complete guide to how to use telewater and how to deploy telewater on your own on your machine or on a cloud server i hope you like this project and if you liked it then definitely visit this uh, github uh, i will give the link in the description github.com slash arnik slash telewater you can start this and definitely if you want to get more such interesting projects please follow me on github thanks thanks a lot bye